Okay, so welcome back to my Python lecture series. Today, we will be learning about methods on strings. So, ano nga ba isang method? So, uh, isang method ay just isang, para siyang isang function lang na nagre-return ng something na gusto mo. Okay? So, specifically today, we will be learning about methods on strings. So, gumagana lang siya sa, para sa mga string. So, for example, gagawa tayo ng isang string. So, ang pangalan ay string. Then, lagyan natin siya ng loob na sa loob ng this is a this a word this a word so ganun na lang this a word so yung index ay hinahanap niya essentially kung nasaan yung isang letter or isang word sa loob ng string mo okay so ginagamit natin dito ay dot so pakita lang natin string dot yun yung sinasabi kong dot then index then sa loob ng then gawa ka na opening and closing parenthesis then sa loob nun, sabihin mo sa kanya kung ano yung gusto mong hanapin. So for example, gusto ko hanapin yung S. ba? Then sasabihin, na, sasabihin niya na yung S ay pang 0, 1, 2, 3. Index 3. So pag rinan natin niya, lalabas dito 3. Okay? So yun ang index method. Next is lower. So ang lower ay essentially ginagawa lang niyang lower case or ginagawa niya ng small letters yun na sa loob ng string natin so for example magulo yung string natin gawin natin malaki tong s gawin natin a malaki gawin natin o malaki t malaki diba? then gusto natin for example na ayusin kunyari aayusin natin yung string na yan gusto natin gawin all smaller all small letters hindi gagawin natin print string dot lower. Ganun lang. Then, opening and closing parenthesis. Ganun lang kadali. So, pag print natin yan, nalabas. Ah. So, we need to remove first yung index. Sorry. So, pag print natin yan, this is a word. Lahat smaller case na. So, ang next method natin ay capitalize. So, ang capitalize, essentially, ginagawa lang niyang proper yung uh, string mo. So, ginagawa niyang Big letter yung first letter ng string mo and then yung lahat ng others ay small letters na. So if we do this, we can print the string that capitalize, then opening and closing parenthesis, then pag rin natin, lalabas, this is a word. ba? So big letter T, then lahat ng others small. So next natin na function is upper. Okay? So... We can do print string dot upper and opening closing parenthesis. So ang ginagawa nito is ginagawa niyang lahat upper case yung string mo. So lahat yan magiging big letters. So yan magiging this is a word na big letters lahat. So eto naman l strip and r strip. L strip and r strip is very important, lalo na sa field ng kung nag ka ng data. So, for example, nakakuha ka ng data na magulo. For example, may, may space dyan. Tapos may space din dito. Okay? So, what L-strip does is, pag, for example, print natin kasi yung string na to. Pag print natin yung string na yan, lalabas yung spaces na yan. Diba? May kita mo rito, may malaking space. So, what L-strip does is removes all the spaces sa left hand side. Okay, only on the left hand side. So if we do if we do print string dot l strip opening and closing parenthesis, then pag print natin yan, mawawala lahat ng space dito sa kaliwa. Okay? Pero meron pa ring space dito sa kanan hindi lang natin nakikita. Okay? And we can also do the same for our strip. So our strip is essentially the same thing as L strip except sa kanan lang siya nag act Okay? So, if you do R strip like that, ma makikita mo na na-retain yung nasa left pero nawala yung nasa right. Okay? So, there is another function called strip lang. Okay? So, yung strip lang is essentially has this, essentially the same syntax. Print that strip, opening closing parenthesis, and ginagawa na ito, tinatanggal niya both left and right yung spaces. Okay? So, we are down to our last two methods. 
So, the split method is a method kung saan ini-split niya into a list yung string mo. So, for example, let's just remove yung spaces here. <clears throat> we can say print string dot strip opening and closing parentheses. And makikita mo na, na oops, split string dot split opening and closing parentheses. And dalawas dito, this a word. Okay? So, split niya using the space. By default, by space siya kapag wala kang linagay na parameter sa loob ng opening and closing parenthesis. So, for example, we can do this, uh, this a word string. Okay? And then, gusto natin isplit siya by the front uh, dash. Okay? So, we can just specify here front dash. And kapag print natin yan, this a word, natanggal lahat ng dash, then linagay niya sa isang list per word in the string. Okay? So, last method natin na is kind of useful is, for example, gusto mo gumawa ng um, list na puro same first letters lang. Okay? So, gagamitin natin yung starts with na na method. So, itong method na to, sinasabi lang niya kung yung string na yon ay nagsistart ba with a specific letter. So, for example, print string that starts with then yung sabihin natin t ba? Then, pag rin na natin to, lalabas siya true. So, for example, sinabi natin s then lalabas dapat false. Okay? So, this is specifically useful. For example, uh, meron tayong list na meron tayong this, that, here, when. For example, di ba? So, gusto natin, for example, mag-iterate through the list. So, for i in list, then gusto natin i-print kung starts with so i that starts with t okay so makikita mo here na true true false false kasi this starts with t that starts with t here and when doesn't start with t okay so in the future magagamit natin ito for a much better function so that ends our lecture today, so I hope you've learned something new, and I hope to see you again next time.